What's up guys, Anthony with The Real American Outdoors and today we're going to be discussing the Garmin LifeScope Ice Bolt uh, Transducer Mount that you get with the Ice Bundle, some of the pros and cons of it and why we're switching to a Summit Mount. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out and lets you know when we put up a new video every Tuesday and Saturday. If you ventured around Facebook groups or anywhere on the internet and talking about ice fishing and looking at the stock Garmin pole that you'd get with the ice bundle or you could buy separately from wherever online. Some of the cons that I have for the Garmin ice pole after using it during early ice here and uh, midway through the season is that it's bulky. So you'll see here, I have it fully connected and you don't need it fully connected. We can drop this middle piece, which we'll do right here. So you'll see that was kind of a pain. Being bulky, especially if you're trying to hole hop and you're running and gunning while ice fishing, this is probably not the best mount for you, especially if you bought the ice fishing bundle and this is what it came with, or you just picked one up for cheap, who knows? So again, that is another reason why I don't like it and why I believe it's a con, that it's bulky. It's hard to take apart, it's hard to adjust the transducer, especially depending on how thick your ice is. Now, if you're if you have it down all the way to here and you need it even shorter, you gotta adjust the transducer height on here. And to do that, you're gonna need an Allen wrench. And you're gonna have to unscrew all four of those bolts uh, just a little bit to slide it up and down. Again, first world problems, but it's a little annoying. And especially when you're trying to move or trying to adjust everything. And if you drop one of these in the snow or down the ice hole, you're not gonna get it back. It's nice to be able to not have to worry about that. So I believe this is a con for this pole. So moving on, the when you have this in the ice hole, it kind of takes up a lot of space. Now, a lot of guys you'll probably see from videos or from our previous videos that when you catch a fish with this, you pull it out of the water and then you pull the fish up. If you're fishing shallow water, sometimes you don't have time for that or the fish could wrap around the pole and you were gonna have an issue. Now that could be an issue for any pole, but if you need to be able to pull up a fish with this, you'll see it's kind of, this part takes up a lot of space. Compared to the summit pole, granted, now if you're going for crappie or bluegill, I'm probably not gonna pull the summit pole out compared to I would be pulling this out every time or at least drilling a second hole and take up even more space in your uh, shelter, especially if you're dealing with limited space. So another thing is, it's kind of hard to line up the handle. Now, I like this handle pointing in the direction of where the live scope is pointing because I use forward mode most of the time. It's just nice knowing that I can just point this in whatever direction and I know, hey, that's where the fish are or the bait fish are that I can go and chase and or I can tell um, my buddies to drill holes wherever they need to. And you'll see here, just putting this on, not trying to line it up perfectly, um, you'll see this is pointing this way, the angle of the transducer is facing that way. Now that's not a big deal, but most of the time it's usually a whole 180. And as long as you kind of adjust accordingly, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's nice being able to, with the summit pole, uh, putting the handle exactly where you're pointing the transducer every time and just one less thing to worry about. So some of the pros to this uh, after bashing it is that it's readily available. You don't have to wait for a lot of these companies uh, that uh, have such long lead times right now. And they're decently priced. They're usually under a hundred bucks and you can find them on Facebook marketplace from anywhere between 25 and 75 bucks. Cause most people want to get rid of them. So it's a good temporary thing if you need it. Like what we did here, uh, we are selling this. So hopefully it's going to be sold today. And cause we have our summit pole. I went ahead and put the live scope transducer on our summit mount right out of the bat. It's a zero degree transducer. So I don't have to worry about um, adding on a uh, PVC pipe like this or getting a Garmin zero degree mount. And it's just nice not to have to worry about it. It's also a perspective mode mount, so I could just bend it up. It's really easy to do that. Or obviously if we're going into down mode, just turn it like that. Really cool thing why I like the summit mount, besides it being, it'd be able to collapse. Now this is uh, collapsed once, this is fully extended. It just collapses by these little uh, turn knobs here. Collapse it one more time. And then these all go down. 
it's a nice little package. And then if I'm taking this out and I don't want to keep the transducer on there, which I really don't want to, it's just a hitch pin comes out. These are cheap. I'll probably buy a couple more of them just to keep on hand, but comes right off. I can keep this anywhere and I can keep this nice and protected. Then when I'm ready to go fish, I just push the hitch pin back in and we're ready to go. This is much nicer for running and gunning or just if you're limited on space. This summit pole looks like it's gonna fit the bill. I believe this whole mount setup costs just over a hundred bucks chip. They had like a maybe a three or four day lead time. Uh, not as bad as some of the others like Arc Labs and Tactigrip uh, that had ridiculous uh, lead times right now. Granted, it is the middle of the ice fishing season, I know, but I don't want to receive this in July when we're on the bass boat. Another reason why I like this mount, now we're going to be having some perspective mode. I don't know how much we're going to use perspective mode out on the ice, but we will see. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like anything fishing, tractors, auto 2A, or freedom, check us out at realamericanoutdoors.com. Like us on Facebook, Instagram. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you found this video useful. And let us know down in the description which ice pole you use. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.